Have you guys seen Homestar Runner with Trogdor? Uh, who has not? Trogdor! Oh, God! God, Burn why doesn't thing. Homestar That's Runner do a TCK? I have. Well, it's airing in like five hours. Here we go. So, like, it's your one shot. Y'all ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Made This To Be With You, America's most favorite every single TC Geek Under The Sun podcast. I am, of course, joined by the man, straight up and down, Josh. Nobody's going to get that because I think I will. I'll explain it because Louie doesn't know how to work his camera as a content creator. <laughs> and I'm, of course, joined by the man, upside down, facing back, just like his hat, Louie DeGeorge. What is up, everybody? And we are joined by George. Were you here last week? You are here last yes, week. Yes, I missed can't, three can't, times, I think, this year. Two or keep, three times this year. Can't keep it's, up with you. That's definitely not true, but, man, you know. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Kitchen I didn't do the one in January when I was coming home. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to May the Zoo be with you. We're so glad you're here. You have to explain my intro. I'm upside down. I, I I have done everything this week other than make content. I've been setting up a new camera. I've been set. I, I redid my bathroom downstairs. Wait, you did I got not I, redo your bathroom. I did. We were on the phone with I you did. while you I were. I did. I did. While you were painting. I installed a light, or I paid somebody to install a light and an outlet. So viewers, I, you, you guys, actually remodeled Louis' bathroom. Did you guys see the uh, the magic cards I put up? I put up a bunch of magic cards in the bathroom. So it's like a magic bathroom. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like my I'm gonna call it my command my command zone. No, not <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get how do you not how did you not put the nightfall boxes in there instead that's of a light? Because uh, they're all at my house now, George. <laughs> Let's get into the podcast. Let's uh, really for, get into it. Let's first, really get into it this first, week. First, a, a, a note from our sponsor, uh, which is me and the new Kitchen Table TCG no, t-shirts. You, you only get a sponsorship when you fix your camera. That's yeah, our deal. You, <laughs> oh, first of all, this sponsor better pay better. You got to flip that camera, buddy. <laughs> you can go to uh, GameGrove.gg. GameGrove.gg. KT TCG. I'll put the oh link in the, in the, in the des- uh, description. They also come with tokens. Check those out. <laughs> Pretty yeah, cool. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, sorry, guys. Thing here. is fine when you're here. talking. Here. Not so great when you're trying to that's do so hell. That's what they look like to you guys. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, now we can see it. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Yeah. It looks it's much cool. better when we can tell what it is, Jordan. Yeah. Uh, so anyone that you order, there's five of them, and uh, anyone that you order comes with a token that gets shipped separately. So go support the channel so, that way. Okay. I want to. I want to give you credit, Louis. Okay. There's been two companies that we have discussed on this podcast that have reduced shirts. T-shirts. Yep. I want to congratulate you for following MetaZoo and Cryptic's footsteps so perfectly. <laughs> I want to congratulate you. I think this is going to go really well for you and will not be your downfall. Because they're not Hawaiian shirts? Disagree. The shirts will be delivered. They were I will, delivered. I that will. Was um, they delivered. I will. If I'll tell you what. If we have 10 sales this week of shirts, I will make a Hawaiian shirt and get it sent to you out of the, the art on this. It'll be black and white Hawaiian shirt. It's going to be weird. But it'll be cool. That's like a All Tommy. Right. You heard him, everybody. Pump them yeah. bags. Yeah. Yeah. For George this time. If I do it for George, it'll sell. All right. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> we're going to. your schemes. We're going to talk about re, uh, reserving singles. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going to talk about the magic single market because there's not a whole lot else to talk about. For magic. We're going to really get into it, though. Yeah. Then Did we're we going to talk about this last week with no. the boxes. We talked about duels or something last week. Then we're going to talk about Thunder Junction. Nobody cares about that topic. We're going to talk about four-player sorcery. <laughs> We're going to get into the Star Wars restock, the massive Star Wars restock. Absolutely huge, George. Absolutely huge. Uh, we're going to go to the Lorcana Championship. You're you're going to get invited to my championship event as well uh, for Lorcana. Would love to see you show up to that. Uh, we're going to talk about. Wait, I practice this. Goat Goat Copopa. What is it? Go- <laughs> <laughs> it was so good and so bad, and you blew it. Goat Coapa. Goat Coapa. I'm confused. Is this coming out in 10 years or is this coming out now? This is Lorcana's <laughs> uh, PVE format uh, that uh, co op. Uh, so we're call- we call Go Kana. Goat Kana. Uh, so this is Goat Coapa. Yeah. Wow. 
Keep explaining it. I don't yeah. think they got it. Keep that's keep it. explaining. That's it. That's what we're talking about. That's the whole thing. Now, is this going to be out by 2030, you think? Or like when will this come out? We'll Probably when it it's really ready. Podcast. When we okay. make sure it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good. When good. it's going to overtake the entire industry yeah. Yeah. and make all the booster boxes worth money. Good. Especially good. overseas. That, yeah. The market we don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Japan loves co-op. Yeah. That's, that's what they love. <laughs> all right. Um, let's get into some magic stuff, um, but, but this time let's really get into it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that right. was our topic last week. I'm no, we talked about the market sure last week. You said you guys week. said you wanted to talk about the singles that I purchased. That's what we landed on. I don't actually. What what questions do you have about the singles we per- I purchased? What what? <laughs> nobody nobody said it's Q and A time about your singles. Nobody said this Q and A with Louis. Oh, singles. The, single, the singles you purchased. Yeah. Are they hot? They are hot and they are local. Are they in your area? <laughs> they are. They are in my. They're not in this room, but they're in. This they're area. gonna do. They're gonna do great on the internet. Then, <laughs> for anything I know, they're gonna do great right, on so the Louis, internet. So, Louis, you bought a large issue collection this week. Yes, last week. Don't yeah. undermine his party. It was a, a large issue. It was a large collection. It was a big collection. Like I'm not like. It was, I didn't say smallish. I said largeish. It's not like he bought like an alpha set. Um. So, Louis, tell me how that came about and tell me what that process was like. Uh, so, I'm always buying cards. Uh, you can sell your cards to me at kitchen table at TCG. I didn't ask you the commercial. I asked you what this one was like. <laughs> no, uh, this is good. This is a guy who had been, he played Magic Shocking. for 13 years and hasn't played for 10 years and still watches TCG content. Does he watch the podcast? Uh, yeah. Shout out to he that watches guy. my channel, so I assume he watches the podcast. It's the only good thing in your channel. No, he's probably one of the guys that thinks that the podcast is a MetaZoo podcast. Which God, is there is the way best. too many people on this channel who think that this is a MetaZoo podcast. No, I'm looking forward to that being the case in ten years. Like, didn't that game die like eleven years ago? Yeah, <laughs> and there's still stuff to talk about. Yeah. Um. No, so it's good. Uh, I I want to talk though more about why singles matter uh like i'm I'm in so from a store perspective singles are zero like zero risk like like they are louis risk assessments are my favorite part of every podcast why because they're insane why is that insane because you can absolutely lose on singles how you you 100 can't how explain to me how the market can can shift quickly with you holding bags. And if you don't believe me, talk to your cryptic singles. <laughs> okay. Sure. So magic could die tomorrow. And... No, but like the market could shift. Like the meta can change. Like things can sure. shift. Like okay, but about, about about three can thousand cards. So let's say there's a meta shift and some of these three thousand cards go down. Like it's still in- incredibly risk risk adverse. I think it's it is by far the least risky yeah. thing store do. That yeah. is totally true. Yes. Yeah. And your margins are ridiculous. Saying it's risk free is always a little bit No. False. It's like it's a it's like a it's like a risk free thing. You just said no you just, and then restated it. You just go with risk. Are you just gonna keep saying risk free? <laughs> You're just saying no, then saying not even synonyms. You're saying it the can, same word. Compared to buying sealed product from distro, it is risk free. Well, that's anything because that is a hundred percent well i guess it's not really risky if you're guaranteed to lose yeah you're guaranteed <laughs> to, to to walk both kind of risk free in a way <laughs> oh josh is up to that whoa 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 well i don't know what i just did sorry i, I wanted to be like louis listen i missed i missed my buddy he was upside down i wanted to join him um anyway so it's a big collection lots of reserve lists uh the reserve list market is is kind of going crazy of course you know why you're going to say magic is goat, but you don't Got actually it. believe that. Yeah. I mean, we talked about that last Correct. Week. <laughs> <laughs> I think, listen, like magic is goat in that, like, it's the safest TCG by a colossal mile and like by far the safest, like nothing else is close. Yeah. Like someone give me gets played. We, um, no we've had, so since uploading the, the 3000 cards, typically we do like 60 to 70 orders a day. Uh, we've had like, almost 250 orders a day and we're at eight percent above market price so like, you're ripping what... off people on your website <laughs> we have to do it to slow the, the flow of cards down i'm in i'm in <laughs> if you are in the market paying way above tcg player prices 
gamergrove.gg. Well, so also because um, the, the way that the optimizer works on TCG Player, like if because we have such a large catalog of cards right now, if people are, want three or four cards, it's cheaper to buy it from us because they're only paying for one shipping or they get free shipping or whatever. So that's what, how it ends up benefiting the consumer. If they buy a shirt, but, do they get a free random card? No. Well, they get a token. Yeah. You get the angel. You got wizards. God, this looks like a cryptic card. You oh, might sorry, have jinxed yourself. There you, you go. Might have Ooh, a, that's a nice art. You yeah. might have big jinxed There's a, yourself. There's a, a girl in my store that did all these. Yeah. Um, anyway, so it's good. It's a huge win for the store, and um, it's cool to see, like, we had a, b- a bunch of new people come in this week buying singles from the area. Um, just because Local. like they can't get it. like these, this guy had cards that like I, I have never seen come into the store before. I mean, they're old. They're not like new magic cards. They're all at least 10 to 15 years old. Cause he stopped playing. They've just been in his attic for 15 I years. will say old, ma- old magic is goat. Yeah. Old magic. Just see. It's so fun. Yeah. It's different. It's different. So Louis, you also had a fake card in your collection though. We did. Uh, Walk I, me through that. How do you spot it? Did your, did your scanner find it? Did your, did your shorter, did your card no. find it? No. Did no. you put uh, it in the one, card one of the high end cards? Only one of them was uh fake. It was not unlimited. And how did you tell it was field. fake and what happened to that? It card? was super clean. Like uh, it's in the other room. It was super clean. Like it was just way too clean for an unlimited force field. That's why I don't bathe. So they know I'm authentic. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, use a loop and all that stuff. Loop? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, so, what happened to the card? What, what are you laughing at? I thought you said something very different. I was like, what is going on now? Do you think I said poop? Nope. Uh, so, what happened to the fake card? Same for Flutter of loop. Continue. <laughs> um, it's in my It's in my other room. What do you mean? Okay. What happened to it? I told like, the guy it's it? fake. Did you give no. it away? What do you do with a fake card? It's in my. It's it, it's on my table in the other room. So if somebody wants I'll... to sell a collection, Louie, yeah, how like how what what would they do to sell to you? They reach out to me at kitchen table tcg at gmail dot com. We already did this commercial. Um, now, but now it, mine's <laughs> organic. Yours was yeah. so unbelievably That's sourced. True. That's true. All right, I'm this trying to help you. I'm out bored. I'm bored. Way. Let's move on. I'm bored. Some of your singles, if you want. This is okay. a terrible topic. Let's talk no, about. Here's Thunder a great topic. No, oh my God. stop. <laughs> I also sold Josh. Josh, did you check any of the cards I sold you? I'm hold on. I'm. Oh this is God, free content. Old scratch. Old scratch. Old scratch. Oh, Mothman. Is that foil? They're all foil. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Free content. I had, one of, I had one of those on the floor. I thought I could. All right. It, I must have thrown it away. So, has this changed your position on the reserve list at all, Louis? Or no? No. Re- my, let's restate that. What's your being, position on the reserve list? My position being that they shouldn't reprint cards. Is that that what you're yeah. saying? No. They, they they don't need to like they don't need to reprint the reserve list cards. They just print better copies anyway. You know what we're gonna get? We're gonna get dual lands that are uh, snow lands. Stuff like that. Wait, you, wouldn't that not be allowed? Because the whole thing was like the the art's not protected, the the words are protected. The but, but it's different. It's it's not just a a mountain island. It's not just a volcanic island. It's a snow mountain island. Yeah. So it qualifies as snow. Uh, now, technically, that would break the reserve it, list because the original it, break li- reserve list is like they will never print cards that are more powerful. But they've already broken that like eight times. So like, there's also l- cards that you get a benefit if your opponent has snow lands. So maybe it's less powerful. Yeah, you can make that argument. But they've already done. There's like a couple of like red three one. Oh, that's that, right. The magic sprinted to be with that during put during COVID. Yeah, like they've already like technically broken yeah. that and like so. I I think I don't think they need to re- print reserve list stuff. Like, I don't know. listen, no. I just made my first massive single magic purchase. I've bought more than this over my. If, if you reprint the reserve list now, wizards, <laughs> God, I'm out. God. Chris I'm Cox, pissed. have my back, baby. I'm pissed. I don't don't you do this to me. I have supported you. I have put you on my shelf. You are in yeah. front of the sharks. You also I bought put you on my shelf with Metazoo, other indies. And don't, his sharks. You don't also bought dual lands, which are like probably, in my opinion, one of the two type of reserve list cards that like decreases in value when they reprint the reserve list is dual lands. 
You hear me, Chris? Yeah, true. Like, you hear me? Dual lands because they're like the they're value of dual lands is in the playability of the card. Right. Like yep. they're used in commander and all that stuff. I did a video this week on that. It's playable. It's collectible. It kind of checks like a bunch of boxes. Right. Uh, like I think power nine, if they reprinted that, it wouldn't lose value because the, the original right. versions would just be, you know, also they didn't have the in revised. So like they're way shorter printed. Um, but Chris Cox, if you do this to me, I, I, I have plenty of MetaZoo to open. I don't you don't you do this to me. What are you going to do? Become a MetaZoo creator? He's already a Star Wars creator. Yeah, and like, like, honest creator. Like, You've had enough did, games, Josh. Mm-hmm. You've had enough. You've had enough. Um, um, okay, so look. There was a lot of talk this week from Watsy and from the GOAT root. Can I just say, I watch very little TCG content. I watched the Rudy dinosaur video this week, the whiteboard video. Two things. A, he gets it. And B, God, is he a great content creator? He is. It's like he, he is. is so damn entertaining. I he's don't give good. a rip about Watsy or their business profits. And he's I'm like, yeah, they are scamming the local LGS. Get him, Rudy. <laughs> he like is so damn good at this. He is. He is. That was he a good video. He's so angry. Um, like, do we think they're gonna get back to like do we think they're gonna do the reserve list in the next two years? No. No. They will not reprint the reserve list. They don't need to. They, they, they do not need to. They, they have enough. They, they already new, sell five hundred dollars boxes. Like better than we think. New, yeah. we are a bit unplugged from new magic and what the casual everyday magic fan wants. It is going better than one hundred percent is. Yeah, they already and they don't care about the formats that reserve list cards are in. I think that's the fairest point. They don't care about vintage. Well, they, they never have to. They never have to care about right. those formats ever. In like commander, their their stance is basically like proxy without telling us. I think that's essentially what they've come down to talking oh about. Oh my god! Well, and that's the the beautiful thing about commander too is it's not a barrier for entry because it's the the casual format because yeah. there are literally millions of people where you can walk into any game store and find a pot of a power level. It's it's not like hey, if I don't have the dual lands, my deck isn't viable. Yeah, that's not, mansion is pretty good. It, it's it might be a barrier for entry in CEDH, but realistically. Nobody can. Almost every CD each tournament structure allows proxies too. Is that yeah. true? Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, that's not true. Like wizards tournaments, though, right? At the big tournaments. Well, no, but nobody runs wizards. Most tournaments, CDH right? tournaments aren't wizards tournaments. Yeah, you don't even like because you can't yeah. even run it in their software anyway because it's commander. Wait, really? Yeah, I mean, you can run a player list for commander, but they don't have anything that pairs pods or like CDH is a wild environment. How do people do that? Nobody knows. Nobody in every tournament structure is different. Everybody fights about what the tiebreakers should be. It's a whole like massive crapshoot. It's 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 trying I, to fit a card game that wasn't meant to be in this box in a box yeah. it doesn't belong. I there was like a committee or something for commander. Well, yeah, but that's it, not CEDH. That's this is competitive what commander. So what's CEDH? Competitive ten power commander. level. Try to win on turn two or three or zero. Yeah, or yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. George, you win we before the other player gets a chance on the podcast. Yeah, and yeah, we did a tournament. And it was like winner got a dual land. There's like a tournament this weekend in North Carolina. That's uh, uh, time worst Carolina. It's a time twister. Um, they like, do a time twister. Yeah, there's a bunch of high level tournaments for it. Can we give a shout out real quick? No. Yeah, I want to shout out Bucky's for opening a Bucky's on the other border of North Carolina. So in case you're wondering, North Carolina, there are now Bucky's on two of your borders in zero in your state. Bucky's gets it. Avoid North Carolina. Except for Duke. Um, it's a weird, weird brand. But... Anyway, so in CDH, almost everybody's okay with like proxies. Like a lot of tournaments will be like 20 card proxies. <laughs> you can fake the card in CDH, but gosh darn it, you better not fake the play you're going to make and yeah. lie to everybody yeah. because whole oh, Twitter... <laughs> going yeah. crazy um so like i don't know i i think the reserve list is kind of uh a moot argument these days it does uh, it doesn't affect commander so i don't i don't think they'll do it yeah it'll be secret layers um that's my no shot take. it'll be in secret layers absolutely absolutely no shot why no. absolutely why would they do that because I, I think watsy is looking for an exit i think i think hasbro's looking for what an does exit that mean WotC, rather i it's think hasbro's looking to sell watsy 
No, why would they sell the only thing that makes them money? This has been my stance profitable. on this entire topic for the longest time. Why would they sell the only profitable because armor? Like, the only and then they would money. just die. And then, yeah, would and then just they just die. in 10 years, just I like, think, they disappear? I think they, I think they're going to do it. I think they're looking for a buyer. That's a terrible take. God, I want it to be Rudy. What if the CEO, the CEO of Watsy is making whiteboard videos about how bad Watsy is? Come on. <laughs> There's something there. There was mm. something there. Um, like, I guess I think they're also like, I think, man, like they, they're predi- they're predicting down down year this year. Last year barely grew with like the biggest set of all time. Like, Wizards. I guess they're like, is it, this is ha- This is a lot harder than they thought it was. I think Wizards like it's getting only, harder. Wizards well, they're not only hope a lot harder to... than they thought it was. They're not new at it. They're but I think, they, I think it's Exodus getting harder from... in the modern age. Hmm? That's that's fair. But of all the TCGs, they're one of the better TCGs that exist in the physical space also leveraging the digital space. They're doing a great job at that. There's millions of players in online and arena all the time. I I disagree that they're doing a great job at the digital and I, I don't I don't think it's user friendly or consumer friendly, but they're you can't tell me they're not ciphering a ton of money out of it. I mean they're making more money than anybody in the industry. I agree with that. But like Okay, so how would they're you like to the say they're also the oldest and they're the oldest and biggest players. team? Like, <laughs> like yeah, well, like you're comparing indie like, TCGs to Magic again, Josh? No, I'm not. They're doing. They're making. I guarantee they're making more money on their digital clients than Pokemon is. Yeah, because Pokemon gives away all their cards for their digital I'm actually, clients. I'm actually. I'm not sure. Like, I think. I think that'd be some weird math, to be honest. And I, you know, this. I I believe Pokemon is Ave Maria, um, but no, like. Sing it. Oh, Thank you. Did you, my friend read the comment section. Somebody said, please have George stop singing. And the comment below it was, please have George stop existing. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Shout out, to, <laughs> shout out to that guy. Jeez. Is that for real? <laughs> It was like, what's that? Like, what? He's like, did you see this comment? I'm like, no. He's like, it wasn't nice. <laughs> they really are. They rarely I don't are. care. Oh, uh, I'm still here, baby. Barely but I, surely. I um, think, like I think Pokemon number is weird because like do you count the part of the pack price as a digital sale yeah, because they have the code yeah. cards? Pokemon's um, weird because it doesn't matter because their revenue comes pre- predominantly from other things too, like the video game. Do you know how much more revenue they get? No, from their... the revenue comes from the revenue comes from video games also. So yes, so don't just say no. To my well, it statement. comes from trinkets and stuff, right? right? It comes from stuff. It doesn't come from dead TCGs. Right. Yeah, I like. I think Magic is in a good spot in a lot of ways. I think Hasbro is the thing that's holding it back. Obviously, we've talked about that a million times. I think Wizards' only hope to get away from that is not somebody buying it. It's like them exodusing from from Hasbro, like. The, the company itself becoming its own company again is splitting is, it up. Yeah. I mean, I think that's possible. I mean, like, I think they have to figure out what they want to be in the next five years. I think, and I like, listen, I, I, I don't, I don't envy that decision. I, mean, I don't really think they decision. have a choice. Like Hasbro has a, like Hasbro has a stranglehold over them and that's what it is. So it's going to be up to, no, but I'm saying like, you know, I think they have to make a lot of distribution choices that are going to really affect the way the game is handled in the next five years. And that's really hard. Like that's not an easy or fun decision to make. I don't think, but it's probably the most important one they're going to face. I don't think reprinting reserve lists happens in that world. No, I mean, that's fine. I do. There's not enough for them to gain. There's not enough for them to gain. That would be a, that'd be a fuego, um, uh, um, secret layer. They could do that with star Wars. Yeah, but what would you sell that for? All of it. Nineteen ninety nine, one thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Like, and and that's just going to raise all this frustration and anger. Yeah, I know it was really hard on them. The last time they did that thirtieth anniversary, it really hurt the company. They really, that was really that was really hard for them. Yeah, go look at the secondary market on cards, you, and you can you, see you, you just see the day they did dying that. on the hill that Magic Thirtieth was successful. It was great. It was it's fine. Wild. It was fine. A bunch you of can, haters. You can at see least it at right least there. Louis has turned around on his "I won't call Lorcan a successful position." You're just gonna hate, not you're, me, you're baby. Riding this one out into the middle of the ocean till the ship Damn. sinks. Huh? I got news for you. I ride or die, baby. <laughs> Uh, I think it's very clear what you're doing with this one. And are apparently, you, the are you section. saying was it you saying you wish I didn't exist, Josh? Was that your comment? That's my that's my burner. <laughs> okay, Let's move good. on. 
<laughs> Thunder All Junction. Right. Nobody cares about this topic. There's some great oh, reprints some in Thunder Thunder Junction. Isn't that right, George? Yup. Lotus time, baby. <laughs> That's we baited, <laughs> we baited George. They're reprinting the reserve list in Thunder Junction. Are they doing? Are they? Are they no, 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 they're not. No. I would have heard about. Wait, that. I would have heard about that. I would have heard about that. Yeah, that would have crossed my newsfeed. I thought it was very clear. Uh, so I think Thunder Junction looks a lot better than okay. I thought it was going to look. It it looks like a lot of fun. I got to say. Things are going to shake up. I think there's a lot of cool cards. It's very clear that it's it off, printed for Commander. Mm-hmm. Every set's printed for Commander. When is that going to stop surprising you? <laughs> Every. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Not, so, not like, <gasps> no, just, just make it a point. Uh, Terror of the Peaks is the big one this week. Wow. That's a reprint. They're reprinting that? Yep. Uh, wow, it's that's like a, a great card. $20, $25 card. Uh, not for long. Different artwork, which is nice. Uh, people kind of hate the art. Um, why, they, why are they hit the art? Uh, I think is it AI generated. Something about I don't know. Something about the way the dragon looks. I, I don't actually know. I, is it the Rudy Dragon? No. <laughs> this, this week, Louis not super passionate about have, art. Have you guys seen Homestar Runner with Trogdor? I, who has not? Trogdor, Trogdor! the god. God, Burn why doesn't Homestar Runner do a TCG? I have. Um, I would want to cover. The they did. There was. There was a God, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this. There was there was an NFT line in yes! in, in the yes! pan, in the pandemic that was dragons and you got to name the you got to name the the, the baby dragon and I did that one from uh from Homestar Good Runner. Good job. And Good job. job. You you win. <laughs> you win that you win that God. moment. That might be one of my favorite memories is like hanging out and just watching episode after episode of Homestar Runner. <laughs> Home Do you Star remember the voicemail? Yes. The, yes. This is all your friends. All your friends. Yeah, it's all your friends. <laughs> Don't say we hate you. We hate God, you. Why are you watching this podcast when Homestar Runner is on the, on the internet? I don't get it. Uh, no. I don't get it. No, this podcast <sighs> is GOAT. I'm done downplaying this didn't podcast. You, didn't you, you have a therapy job. session on the podcast because of the podcast last week? <laughs> yeah. And I've come to terms that I need to live in the poop that I made for myself. Uh, Trogdor! God, they could have a Trogdor card in this set. I would buy that card. Kyle, they don't do, a, they don't do um, the right okay. crossover. So, Why do people hate the Terror of the Peaks art? I don't know. I just saw a Reddit post about it yesterday. <laughs> no. I, I guess it was on Reddit, so of course everybody. So hated they it. don't. One guy might. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the big thing here is uh what's the murder one? There's plot and then there's another one that's like the opposite of that. Um uh, commit a crime. Yeah, the crime is in the plots. Uh yeah. it, it's kind of interesting. They they basically it's an interesting design. Like they've taken all, like these five mechanics or ten mechanics, whatever it is, and they made a category out of it. And you have to remember what the mechanics are that qualify for like committing a crime or doing a plot. Um, what? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Is that hmm. true? No, not not for plot, but committing okay. a crime. Sorry. Yeah, 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 I got. Okay, I got you. The crime one. Yeah. Um, crime is anything that interacts with your opponent's stuff. Is like a base way your opponent or their stuff. But isn't there cards that are like, if you've committed X number of crimes or whatever, like Nimble Brigand says, if you've committed a crime this turn. Yeah. Yeah. So if you've interacted, if you've done any damage to your opponent, targeted their creatures, targeted their cards in their hand, graveyard, any of it. It feels like a board game. I'm in. Like, it feels like the set more than a a typical set is like a a self-contained do you think Entity. sorcery like forced their hand on this one, Louie? No. Do you feel that way, Josh? Like that this is more self-contained than a typical magic set? I, I think they've been going in that direction for a little while now. Mm-hmm. It does like look at uh murders, right? Yeah, murders. Curl of Manor. Like Curl of Manor felt very much like that. And I I think the whole design shift away from this congruent story into like little themed plots and like little short stories here and there mm-hmm. is is very clearly the shift i the only thing i don't like about it is from a gameplay standpoint i did used to like you would get mechanics that all worked together and they'd all be in like let's say standard or the last like the last two sets yeah. will all kind of flow nicely together and i do feel like we're missing out on that a little bit now you're plotting while you're committing crimes and looking for clues 
Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's it, like there's yeah, there's not nearly as much like uh, the thinking back to original Kamigawa, Splice under Arcane was a big one in the first set, and then it would appear you'd have Arcane spells and Splice like randomly throughout the other two. Even if it wasn't the main mechanic, it was it was similar. It was uh consistent through the three releases. And I don't think we're gonna see that for a while, which I gotta tell you, that bothers me. Like I I don't like that aspect of it. But the rest of it, the small, like self contained story. I'm not against it. It's better than just no story at all. You know, we'll take that. I think the mechanics fit a lot better than murders for like limited play. I think it'll be a lot more simple, which is a big win. I thought murders was way too like overly complex. Maybe uh, plots, a plots, a tough one and committing a, uh, the only thing I don't like is it's just a lot to, you like you mentioned of- what's committing a crime. What's not. And then plot casting things only at sorcery speed on a turn later. There's there's some like we're breaking the rules of magic, but not really. So it's I, I actually think this is gonna be a weird one. I mean, what I, were the big yeah. ones? The I big think, ones in in dude, murders, remind me, collect evidence and I don't dude, I, I played I've played magic for fifteen years. And I sat down for murders at Carla Manor pre release and I was I, to build my deck, I was like, I don't know what to do. I have no clue how to play this. Well, collect like, evidence was just, we've seen this before. Like you could remove a certain number of cards in your graveyard. The difference there was you have to like the, the mana value of the cards you remove have to total something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there was that. And then, I mean, investigate was there, but that's been for a while. What's the other, God, it's going to bug me. Disguise. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, I hated more, disguise. more text. Nailed it. I hated this guys. Um, I think plots a cool mechanic. It's, again, it's hard to keep track of, but it, it's pretty straightforward and, it reminds me a lot of 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 foretell pay now yeah. get something later. Yeah, um, I think the theme of it is cool, and like I think it's gonna be a really good limited set. Uh, yeah. I think it'll probably end up being like murders though. Like the value is just not gonna be there because of the place boxes don't synchronizing work. with other sets and other things. Yeah, I, I think the power level on this one is is upped a little bit from murders, but it's. It does seem to be, you know, peeled back at least a little. Yeah. From what we're looking at with things like Ixalan. Like Ixalan was clearly and I wonder if like the end of the year, the oh sets of the end of years are just gonna be just Shout banging. out to Duskmorn. I called it at the beginning of the year. That's gonna be set of the year, baby. Bloomberg is a dark horse for sure. We did not uh, think Bloomberg, that was gonna be Bloomborough's a- gonna do good too, but Duskmorn's yeah. gonna be now there's oh the last mechanic of this one is that spree mechanic. Have you seen that? Yeah, the spree is cool. Come here, what's wrong? It's very cool, except you can't some just a point of note, you can't just cast something for its face value. You have to also pay a spree cost. So storm players, everyone calm down. You can't just up your storm count. Yeah, you pay the top cheap. cost plus the the Yeah, plus the, at least one. You yeah. can't choose zero. So right. zero is not an option. So yeah, I don't know, man. It's there's a lot going on in this, and I, I think it's it is getting to a point where it's less beginner friendly. So, George, as a magic beginner, what do you I am think? not a magic beginner. I probably played magic before either of you played magic. I am actually the magic oldie. Maybe that's probably true. I was. Yeah, I I've think been I, playing magic longer than either of you. I, I think my, I'm at 21 years. Oh, I beat you. Yeah, absolutely. You got, you got I was in when was I in college? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you've also. Oh God. Oh. My, <laughs> my, oh. God. Does your back, my, does your my, back hurt thinking about it? Oh God! All right, kick Josh off. <laughs> well, my kid just peed in her bed, so you guys take over for a little bit. Right. The next topic is sorcery. Is that right? <laughs> Skip it. Go to the next thing. What? <laughs> no, right. we're gonna really get into it. We're gonna... All right, keep going. Go ahead, Louie. Go upside down, king your daughter. Go. Go do Star your Wars thing. Restart. <laughs> All right, we're not talking about that. That's a stupid topic. All right, Josh, tell me about Star Wars. How's it going? How's life going as far? How's how is? Let me ask you this. Is the force with Star Wars? <laughs> I, I feel like I have to do like when we talk about Lorcana, I feel like Lorcana. you have to you have to expose that you're a shareholder and I just choose not to expose that information because I am also a shareholder in the company that holds Star Wars. I know. I yeah. I feel like I have to expose I'm a believer. I like Star Wars a lot. Believer. So there's gonna be some there's gonna be some bias here. Pretend it's Louis in the sorcery section. But it's just nobody could ever be that biased. Nobody could ever be that biased. Fair. fair. It's surprisingly stable. I imagined. I imagined a rapid rise 
an immediate crash. In it fact, I did a video and I was like, a week. These bo- I, I said these boxes will hit $200, $250 and that'll be terrible news and things will come crashing down. The community has stabilized. The sell-through rate is consistent. And, and George, more people are playing the game than I ever imagined. I thought this was going to have a big draw of just people collecting packs. But there's a lot of games going on, and that's good to see. What part of that did you not like? That's all fine. Fantasy Flight, Asmodee, Louie. Oh, this is the same... Don't you Louie me. Don't don't do it. You asked me a question. I gave you points. I am not saying that Asmodee and Fantasy Flight are going to get it right all the time. I said Ravensburger screwed up their initial releases. Uh, no. They didn't it was abysmal. They was dropped great. the ball. In fact, we're going to get to another Ravensburger dropping the ball shortly. No, it's it very fine. exciting. However, they continue to improve, and they've done a great job. What this is piece. their first game? This is Fancy Flight's like 80th game. The makers of One Piece. This is their 14th game this year. And they have swung so far in the opposite direction, they're going to ruin it the other way. So listen, game companies can do anything, man. Right, I'm not so saying they about, have a great track record. the Star Wars market. First of all, I would like, I on behalf of this podcast, we you, would like you, to you say... You don't speak for me. You don't speak for me on this podcast. I would like to say a big thank you to George Lucas for supporting Bob Iger in the proxy fight. We, we, we love you. We love you, George. And thank you for supporting the goat in his trials. And we, we got your back, Bob. This podcast supports Bob Iger and George Lucas. Um, so the singles, the high end singles are going nuts. It's not just the high end singles. I did box openings for channel members all this week and all last week. There is tons of seven, eight, nine, ten dollar cards littered through these packs. The value of the box is really consistent, and it's not just in did you hit the hit chase card or not. Now, I'm not saying that's an indication of like, oh, things are going to the moon, it's collectible, it's tendies. But when you open a single pack, right? When you go and you crack a pack in a box, you want to feel like you get your money's worth. And you have more of an opportunity to get at least the value of a pack than you do in other trading card games that I have followed. And that's big. If all the value is just in the one chase card that's doesn't work. rumored to be one for every 12 boxes, yeah, that's never work. gonna go well. You might as well I announce TV one of the case and never make work. it. Like, like you, you gotta have you gotta have a healthy mar- listen, if you want to have a healthy game, you gotta have a good number of cards in that five to ten dollar range. Boom. If not, no. you just, if not, it's if not, you just, it's a lottery ticket, right? You're getting boomed or busted. One hundred percent. Um. So I mean, okay. So, but like the the super high end is doing crazy good. Super right? high end is is pumping. The rest of it is staying just just consistent. There's there's been some drops across those the you know five seven eight dollar cards down to their four six and seven dollar prices, but nothing crazy. You haven't seen just this massive fall off. Um. So I don't we know got what s- happened. You're doing great. Just, just she, roll with she, it. Be, be good at she, content. Oh no, they, this is great content. She, <laughs> she peed in her sleep. Right? This is not good content. It is, but her, there was no pee in her bed. You could have, you could have come on. back and seamlessly joined the conversation. Hold on, hold on, boo boo. Outside of the bathroom, no. there's a pu- a puddle of of pee, and then there's footprints down to my office. So I think Almost she was. It. I think she Almost was so tired. It. That she got out of bed and then like peed in front of the door <laughs> and then walked outside. I don't know. Wild. So there's just pee on the floor upstairs. But um you cleaned it up? Not on the floor. I don't have time for that right now. We got the podcast. I cleaned <laughs> her up. Okay, good. Step one complete. Good yeah. job. I cleaned her up and got her to bed, and then I'll clean up the pee on the floor. You want me to run a vacuum right now outside of my other daughter's room? No shot. Um, did you talk about the restock? We talked about Star Wars and the forces being with it. We gave a shout out to George Lucas for supporting Bob Iger in his proxy fight. If you're getting, if you're a Disney shareholder and you get a thing from UPS from Tryan, that's the naughty people. They're the ones that don't support Bob Iger. Okay, don't follow their proxies. Only listen to the board members because we you hear that Bob magic fans. George thinks proxies are bad. Did he make it seem like there was a huge restock? No, we didn't even get there. 
Okay. Wow. We actually had a we, genuinely good conversation. Yeah, Louis, we have <laughs> that you just came here, in and peed on. We can actually have real conversations. You you just you just came in and peed on our conversation. It was yeah. a very tiny restock this week. Two to six boxes per. No, show. Also no. Said a, Tell the true also, story. Tell the true story. He also said more is coming. Yeah. Tell the true story. Game stores got six boxes. Two to six boxes. No. Which is massive. Guys. How many people out there have the money to buy two to six boxes? Huge restock. Game stat. No, two to six boxes. I asked Game's for a hundred and twenty. I got two. <laughs> okay. And, okay, hold on. And had to take Pokemon. Like, genuine concern. Did you, you ask maybe for maybe take more boxes? Pokemon this week? Maybe for take it? maybe time take out, Silver out. Tempest booster bundles to get my two. Oh, no, no, they did not. They did. Did you re- did you really ask for one hundred twenty boxes? Uh huh. Sure. Don't kill, kill my game. You asked for what? Louis, don't kill my game. What? Don't that, do it. I'm sorry. I didn't get the memo that you were changing your YouTube channel to a Star Wars channel until too late. I had already asked for the boxes. Sorry, buddy. Still a magic channel. Still punching down, by the way. Seems unnecessary. Yeah, Louie. Don't be a jerk. Um, they make you take more Pokemon for your two yeah. boxes. A case of booster bundles for two boxes. The disrespect. The disrespect. That's amazing. I'll take as much Silver Tempest as I can get anyway. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, they said the next restock comes out in about two months, right? Yeah. So this was the restock that was supposed to be May, and then they've—I I, guess—they've said that they're going to have another one. So another I'm one guessing May. that one's Late May. I'm guessing that one's going to be bigger. It'll be Q2. This weekend, though, I think I think things are going to get a little crazy. <laughs> no, I don't think. Not. I, don't, no, I just did a whole. Not. I just did a whole spiel that things are surprisingly stable, and I think that's they're really not going to go. Crazy. They're going to get a little crazy. They are not. I think they are. Stop. All right, all right. Speculate with me, Louis. Where the where's the box price go? Hit me with it. Oh, baby. I don't know about the box price, but I think I think the uh, what? what goes crazy. I what? think this showcase is the play. That's all I've been buying. I bought two showcases. I bought the Boba Fett and the Palpatine. If there was a way to short showcase foils. I'd be doing it right now. <laughs> so Into I look the at these. Uh, they're they're more rare than Enchanteds from Lorcana. Uh, so I think they'll follow a similar so trajectory. I had a card. I have a bunch of cards still that are two times rarer. No, I than know. Alpha I... Lotuses. I will give them to you, Louis, for half the price of an Alpha Lotus, even though they're twice as rare. They're, they're actually nine point five. Be... I'm not. They're saying... actually. Oh they're God. actually all out of like I think it's a pop of like eight. And you, I got you, like you, half kind, of you kind of asked for this. You knew this was I'm on his not mind this week. I'm saying they are I as got, valuable as the Enchanted. I got your back. They are a similar. I got your back. I'm, in I'm a trying to help you. Game. So I'm so similar so, game. A similar yeah. game. Not oh, for yeah. five minutes with very one similar. box. <laughs> very similar. George, you yeah. did this whole song and dance with Lorcana already when they were around for five minutes and couldn't even manage to print one box. They did great. They did great. Okay, I just want to—I want to make sure that both one K are right I'm next sure, to each other. one so K. If Elsa goes to one K, it's having a bad day. It's having a bad day if Elsa's Elsa, to one K. Elsa, Elsa is pumping. Of course, you know why? Because it's Go been around for a long time, Go and Ravenclaw can't print enough product. It is also probably rarer than some of the cards you guys love, therefore more valuable. Uh, I actually low key want an Elsa. I th- Wait for the restock. <laughs> Please, God, do not do this. So I swear to God, I, I, so I wouldn't buy one at this price because I'm in. I'm in one of the Lorcani groups, and that somebody was like, "This might be your last chance to buy an Elsa." I never want to short a card so hard in my life. <laughs> that it? statement has literally never gone well. I'll ever. just wait. I'll wait for one to get traded into the shop anyway. But um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's fine, George. I'm going to open you one right now. God, I want you to know how bad I want you to hit an old scratch. I'm gonna open you an Elsa right now, baby. For five hundred bucks, I think it's like four to five hundred now. Still, can I say that market has held up way better than I expected it to? Yeah, I don't. Uh, Somebody was selling CN one boxes for ninety bucks. I was like, that box isn't worth nine dollars. No, like, 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 what's going on here? Why is it holding up? Um, anyway, uh, like, I was like, I want, like, who's buying that? I'll say this about Star Wars, my. My Star Wars community is full of people who are like more of the competitive side of TCGs. It's kind of interesting. Whereas Lurkana reached like casual and new people. Like the people in my area who are more competitive are like looking at Star Wars as like their second game to be competitive with. Yeah. And it's kind of cool. Yeah, dude, so. It's 
It's it's why it's found its little niche. It's wildly stable. You'll love to see it from an indie TCG like Star Wars. Not an indie TCG. Oh, how much money I do you think they had when they started the project? Liger having two of the two hottest TCGs, though. We would like to get Clark Pop on that. Yeah. Oh, three when they buy One Piece. God, did you guys see that after anime article? Yeah. That like, should have so been our One Piece topic. Damn it. Edit. <laughs> Any chance I get to talk about how much I love Bob Iger, I want to do it. Sure. This podcast has been super functional already. So let's just. Let's so just... far, we've talked about your daughter's urine. What do you, what do you mean for functional? You were here. Let, for let's it. do it right now. That's One Piece topic. Let's talk. Okay. Bob so Iger. There was an article that came out that said, like, last few years, Disney was like the last couple decades, Disney was on a buying spree of animation studios. Now they're looking to buy anime studios and animes and i said just wait until bob Iger buys one piece and then the one piece tcg becomes part of the disney portfolio of oh, tcg star wars goat kana and one piece do you think when it becomes part of the disney tcgs they still don't print boxes yeah what is, okay what was the um what was the video game it's a one piece tradition what was the disney video game that had the pendulum has swung in the other direction what was the disney bad. What was the Disney video game that had all the characters fighting? Oh, Kingdom Hearts. Was Kingdom, yeah, Heart. Kingdom Hearts. God, why, didn't, why didn't they just make a TCG called Kingdom Hearts? They did. It flopped, I think. Didn't they really? do that? Because, like, that. when they do buy One Piece, and, like, I know you're joking, but, like... The, I mean, listen. Like, if they want an anime, they'll buy an anime. Like, that would be, like, the perfect game. What it's like what they're doing, doing with Union Arena. What's Bandai? What's the... Union Arena. What's... Union Arena. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's the move: they buy Bandai, and Lorcana folds into Union Arena. I think Lorcana's doing fine with by itself, though. No, but that kills all the games. Does it? D- did it right there? Killed them all. Disney should buy Watsy. No, don't do it, Bob. I voted for you. I Why? voted for you with every Why? one of my what? shares. What? what do you have against Disney buying Watsy? Everything. Why? Everything. What's the success? That money could go to my divvy, and you guys are trying to make it buy a dead asset. <laughs> How are those nine fives doing? Hmm? How are those nine fives doing? I'm not saying the games I have aren't dead. I'm saying Watsy's dead asset. That could be a divvy. But who would, I mean, like, they would have the money. Yeah, because it's like $15 and like a pretty. <laughs> it's, it is like 15 bucks in Disney money. <laughs> Like, what's their market cap right now? Yeah, mouse money is not real money. <laughs> oh, my God. They replaced the Planeswalker symbol with a little Mickey Mouse God. head. Can you it's imagine? $8 billion dollar market cap. Can yeah, they imagine? got that. Can you imagine Disney buys magic, shuts it down, and then it's just Lorcana? It's just Lorcana. <laughs> like, that's, I'm in, Bob. I'm that, in, Bob. That's, I can't how my break into the big, that's how they break into the big two. <laughs> they just buy it. They just kill it. They buy, they buy magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're like, Hey guys, you got to play Lorcana now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Disney could buy Pokemon. Absolutely. So Disney buying a bunch of anime studios means that they're going to buy One Piece. I mean, like, I think we're just joking. I, I, you know, <laughs> I'm saying One Piece is an anime. I think that part's true. <laughs> I All think right. I'll be so okay. So uh, I'll get serious for one second, even though I hate doing it. I think it'll be like it, if the article was right that Disney's actually looking to get into the anime game. I think that will be very interesting in how they handle that because, like, the, a lot of the animes are not Disney friendly. That's fair. Yeah, it's boobies. And like, I think that will be something that Disney's going to have to figure out. And like, this is going to be a kind of a you know, this is going to be a. Wasn't that article basically like Bob Iger doesn't like the way that they handled Star Wars and made it Disney instead of just relying on Star Wars? So, I mean, so very famously, um, Bob, uh, Steve Jobs tried to sell Pixar to Disney yep. when it was the when it was a former CEO. And they they, they clashed horrifically. And Bob Iger basically came in and said like listen we need pixar and like disney is the best studio in the world when it comes to this stuff like we believe in animation it's in our core it's our core ethos we should merge and we need you because you have nailed something that we have not nailed right he was a big proponent of letting pixar stay pixar right right and like 
that I think is Bob Iger's management style. Like if, if you read his book, which is not that good, if I still love you, Bob, mm, <laughs> not, not the best book, not the best book. You could let me pump you. You don't need to pump yourself. All right, Bob, I got you. I got your back. Um, like, uh, he very much, I think, leans on people's core competencies, and I think that will be hard for Disney with anime. Yeah, because a lot of anime is not Disney friendly. Yeah, and it's also such a different culture of what uh, excellence looks like, right? Like yeah, Disney wants problem. like this high quality, yeah. very good, and like anime is a little bit of like a lower bar of excellence to reach, like a cult following. Well. And it is to be a problem that Disney has to deal with because I mean, all the youngins they want anime. Yeah, um, you know, it's going to be something that Disney's going to have to, I think, get into. Um, I think I think it's going to be really hard. Now, the good news is, like, you know, like so there was a lot of that. You know, they they had the R-rated Marvel movies, and they did great, and like Disney let that happen. Right. Um, you know, there was a couple of like scary things on Disney Plus, um, and like those did well. Um, so like, I, I think they are trying to figure out how do you navigate the 2020s. Um, but like, I, it's going to be like, there's going to be some culture clash there. I think hmm. I'm, so like, many- this is, this is like why, like, you know, the, the, the big proxy fight that I'm talking about is between the guy who they gave 18 trillion shares to for Marvel. Like the guy's not happy with how they treated Marvel. Yeah. Um, you know, I would say, take your money, go buy your Island and shut up. Um, but like, that's all right. Um, I tend to think that they need to get, they need like the, the magic in the movies has to come back from the creators and letting visionaries make their movies. Like that's what I think has been lacking the last five years. Well, and you look at this, look at Disney's history at anything outside of its, its core and what it does. That's where they've really shined when, like yeah. you said, in the moments that they've let things that they've they've purchased the Marvels and, you know, the rare occurrences of some Star Wars one offs where they've let those groups be what they are and run with it. That's where yeah. they really that's where they really shine when you try to pull everything into one style and one umbrella. And the, realistically, think of it this way. You you bought it. You, you let's say they buy magic. They buy magic to be magic. And they say, now the main thing we want you to do is do an animated series on Disney Plus, And they're bad at it. Well, you bought them to be a trading card game. They're the number one trading card game. Let them do what they're the yeah. best at instead of trying to stuff them in this box. See, it's the yeah. opposite of what Hasbro's doing too. Like, yeah, it, if, they, if they let wizards just go off and be wizards and make their own money and do their own thing, it, it would go I well. wonder if they're able to though. Like, I mean, like at some point, like Bob Iger does have the benefit that like everything makes money that he touches, more or less. Hasbro has one thing that makes money and one and everything else that just lights money on fire as fast as it can. Yeah, but I think if you're Disney, you would just, I mean, we don't actually think Disney's going to buy yeah, magic. We're it's just, just an example. We're yeah. just killing time on a podcast that has one more topic. Um, we have two more topics, both Lorcana. Three more topics. We haven't yeah. talked about sorcery. Oh, yeah. We're really going to get into it. <laughs> but, like, you know, I think you would just buy Hasbro just for wizards and dungeons and dragons. And I, I actually disagree with that. I think if, I think if, I think if I, I don't think it'll happen, I would not support it. But like, let's say Disney actually bought Hasbro. They could make a killing on their stuff on their IP. Yeah. The, I mean, there's a bunch they of, buy it for you can start Plus making content. and manufacturing under the Disney IP with, with mice and daisies and Donald's all over them that I think probably do well. I mean, listen, I said that to George this week. I could not care less about Disney 18 months ago and now all of a sudden my house is a disney yep. explosion and that's I don't, I don't i don't think that's just a me problem i think that's how the world works and I mean, more chances to put more things like, in our houses with the ip on it it's you know it's just a win yeah uh, you know i think I, you know, I, bob I, looks I, like he's in the clear bob looks like he's in a sale to victory in this stupid proxy fight shout out to bob um He's going to have, I think he's going to have some really, you know, he has some really hard decisions. You know, his big decision is like, what do you do with ESPN? Like, no other decision actually matters that he makes. Is like, how do you handle ESPN and sports on ABC and ESPN? That is the only decision that actually matters for a shareholder. Um, and I think after that, you get into how do I turn around the movies? Um, 
and like you know we're doing you know pirates number 28 i think this there's you know coming out in a few years i think that's kind of be rough with without johnny um you know they got to figure out how to get the magic back into their animation studio and i think Bob by will. magic the gathering it's easy animated movie for kids it's so easy okay uh that's i guess go back up to sorcery and then let's get to lurkana oh go he, was, he was sick of your disney discussion dude we're done it's fair. It was too. It was too. It was too God, illustrative. There's just amazing. nothing to talk about in the TCG. I only want to we talk about Disney and Carly Claus buying life. This podcast supports Bob Iger. Does not support Life Magazine and supports I'm, Star Wars. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be That's on. The, I'm on the opposite. I'm gonna just. I'm going Taylor Swift the... is judging you. <laughs> you and Scooter Braun are the enemies. All right, four player sorcery. Uh, so I have a new sorcery playmat coming out. Do you guys know that? We did know that. We talked about it last week. Is that why this? Did we talk about last week? And you God, teased it in your Discord. Nothing, there's nothing to talk about. Really? Why Once in a year. There's are, nothing. Are ironically, there's nothing to talk about in any. I got a new playmat coming out. Kana has two amazing topics. Huh? Mm. Goat Kana has two amazing mm. topics. Um. What do you have we have we already discussed the importance of four player games in indie TCGs? We haven't really gotten into it <laughs> like four times. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> All right. If you're in the comment section and you want to spend more time on sorcery, we're gonna crowdsource this. Yeah. What do you want to talk your, about? Louie will read the comments this week. Nobody else can wish for my death. That's the rule. That's the rule. <laughs> no, you can't. I don't really care that much. Um but if you want us to discuss sorcery more and for longer, you got to put the topic you want us to discuss every week. And it can't be something we've talked about 15 times and then Louis say, no, but this week we'll really get into it. You have to put a new topic. But that's my favorite moment. I like it. It's my favorite moment. That's a good it moment. It showed how desperate Louis was. Hold on. But in fairness, about- this is the four month mark. Or it's the five month mark, right? Oh my god, we have five more months of this nonsense. No, no, we have seven more months. Seven more months. months. Oh my god, this was this was the moment when I said, "I'm not worried." Month one, I'm not worried. Month two, I'm not worried. Month three. Why did you deal that? It's when we get into four and five that I'm like, I I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad at this, which is also true. I thought that they were going to have dust out on Tuesday this week, and then they never they never did that. Hold hold is is. Is the release delayed? <clears throat> well, maybe I just read it wrong, but I thought that was in the Discord. Oh, server. that's fair. Okay. <clears throat> um, Nerf has a new Dungeons and Dragons Honor of Thieves gun. I think that'll be the next what big bad exciting. Product. I think that'll be the next yeah. big exciting moment for sorcery is when the dust systems <laughs> released. But like, okay, uh, let me strike. <laughs> let me strike. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, I know this one. Oh, you yeah. Always, feel that blood flow. You always put me in this seat. I don't like being in this seat. I like to be in the love sorcery seat. Why is but that like, wrong? It's because it's 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 only exciting for people that are already into sorcery. And it's not hold, it's not even exciting for everybody who's into sorcery. It's a smaller subset of the subset of people it's that are into only sorcery. exciting to whales and streamers. It's it's not like that's not it's, true. It's exciting to people who have open boxes, right? And and or playing everybody who everybody who opened a box is not mm-hmm. going to put that box in the dust. No, you will never have one hundred percent playing over yet. That's so, not a thing. So there is some speculation <laughs> that that your dust that your dust points are going to be retroactively applied. And that they're already tracking it and will be rewarding dust. There's speculation on I mean, that from 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 organized play. Mm-hmm. Okay, but like again, only interesting for people already in the. It's a subset of yeah. a subset. It's not doing anything to, to build more game. excitement or bring more people in or keep God, that the door open. Pig. And like you don't have to fan service the people that are already in because they told us they yell at me in the comment section every week. I only want one set a year. I don't want to hear listen, about all the time. So I don't I don't care about I you. don't buy you that the majority you. of people only want one set a year. 
I, I agree with you. I'm just telling you, this is where your tune has changed on everything this year. <laughs> no, my tune, I'm no, fine with it. I'm fine with it. That is, that has I, been my tune from the beginning. Oh, I'm, that's not you. No, not you, Josh. Not you, Josh. Okay. Your tune, I relatively am, stable. This I is am, the digital era, man. We want stuff. We want it now. Give it all to me, baby. I am fine with one set a year. All right. that's, so let just, me defend the sorcery team for a minute here. Nobody, hey, nobody's nobody's the sorcery team. You're not even going to let me finish my statement. Not from you, idiots. From like the people whining i will give them this credit they are doing what they said they were going to do sure sure like like people can hate the once out a year i don't think it'll work i've been clear they have been clear that you're getting one set a year they're not building into the hype machine so suck it up buttercup I and think- like i i don't like people who are complaining about this now are like why isn't the sorcery team doing something dude <laughs> you really they said they right weren't going to do really this funny. What? They said they weren't going to do this. They said what they're going to do, and they're doing this. They're going to do like, what do you want from them? If you didn't want, if you wanted more, you should have bought into a different game. What did you say, Josh? When you roll your eyes upside down, it's really funny. <laughs> Who's rolling the eyes out of me? It's really funny because you're upside down and rolling your eyes. <laughs> the sorcery team's doing exactly what the sorcery team said they were going to do. Oh, sure. we agree. On that. Yeah, one hundred percent. The the only caveat to that is that they never said when the year starts. That was never. <laughs> <one. That> was, <laughs> it could have started from five years ago. <laughs> it could have started from Alpha, the release. Of the first. It, it could have started from twenty eighteen. Yeah. So, like, I get where some people are. Like, why not July? Uh, you you now defending the people complaining about not getting enough sets was not no, on my no, bingo no, no. card. Again, again, I am still, like, it is what it is. I agree with you. <laughs> I am still, it is what it is. But that is I the most Louis sorcery take I've ever heard. I, I am team, it is what it is. <laughs> I understand. The <laughs> I am team. It is what it well, is. We talked about this on the phone. Um, mm. We're like stores are just gonna get bored, and they're not gonna like they're not gonna order as much Arthurian legends, and then that's what's gonna happen. Is like, we talked like, we talked about this four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> like this this was always our, but and you know, and maybe that fixes or not that fix, maybe that changes. Maybe it doesn't. But like, hey, maybe it's for that that niche of people, and it just keeps working. But I. The dust system, that's just to bring it back, that's why it doesn't excite me is because it's not that that outward-facing thing, especially because your local game store doesn't have a box, right? So you hear about the dust system, you're like, you're like, hey, I wasn't Shout in on sorcery at all. But now I hear about this dust system, baby, I'm in. Go to my game store. Hey, I'd like to buy a box. Like, well, you better go to Team Covenant then because right. none of us have any. Yeah, like, or or even the next set, which is the only place we don't even know when the release date is. And Team Covenant has pre-orders up. We don't even know the size of the box, and they have a price that we don't know I'm our so price happy. yet. I'm they so have happy. it's yeah, I'm so, so ridiculously un- unfair from a consumer or from a, another from a competitive store perspective. Well, they're the first ones to I, do this, and I'm sure the uh, and that worked out real well last time. So I think we'll be in, I think we'll be in the clear. Well, Who's the first ones to do this? Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Game wise, <laughs> I get it now. That's funny. Um, <laughs> it's just like Fine, dude, PVE's gonna save it. It's gonna be great. It, it's like a <laughs> like like it's a completely unfair. No, I yes, I, yeah. Going forward, I, I'd like to see that model fixed. But there's we have to admit there's a risk there, right? It's their Amazon. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's a. You said that it's was that you that said that on the phone this week, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a great take. TC a, is the Amazon take. to Magic's Amazon, or TC is to sorcery like, what Amazon is to Magic. Well, one hundred percent, except for consistent. Magic is like some things will go on special and on sale, but I don't know what time. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's there's a risk though, right? Can we acknowledge that if if you didn't have one guaranteed like always stocked flow of so, product, like the game could come out pump and die, especially when it's a year long, right? Like that could happen. So I defended sorcery this week in Louis discord. And like, here's the problem. I think sorcery has, they can't trust the distribution network yeah, or, or the game store in an indie TCG. No, I don't think the game store is your problem. Like the game stores should sell it. That's their job. Yeah, sure. But like distrib- like if, if, 
EC, if, if Eric Storch Heroes could trust Distro. Yeah, they can't. I get that. To be yeah. reasonable in sure. how they handle product, they wouldn't need Team Covenant. Sure. I'm not defending them using Team Covenant. I think they have to find a way around it. But, like, it's, the, it's the, certainly it's, a, it's a, a problem a, a of Distro's. Evil. It's a, pro, it, It's a problem of Distro's making that. That's uh, the risk I was talking about. That yeah. sorcery has to work around. Yeah. yeah. Look at what's going on with Star Wars, where they're making me take Pokemon I to love, get two boxes. I God, love I, that Pokemon that was is not on my bingo card either. God, I yeah. love I love that so much. Yeah. Yeah. So like I, I get that. I have to uh, but take like Pokemon to take Star Wars. I, that's that's Pokemon? always been our our position though, right? It's like, hey, we understand it's difficult. We're not saying it's easy, we're not saying it's not a challenge, but we expect you to solve that. So like, Lorcana's in some ways solve this. They have they do allocations to Distro. They have their own allocation system at Lorcana that Distro has to follow. Yeah, like that that that's another. Yeah, but they they also carry a, they swing a lot more weight in that room. Like they can force them. to Sorcery can make distribution do this. And then what are they going to do? It's like we just won't. Okay, we won't take the next. I don't step. know. Thanks. No, I think. I mean, I think. If Distro can make money on something, they're going to make money on it. Again, that gets back to then the problem ends up being stores, I guess, holding product and not selling it. So it, it's it's a risk a point, but it's not as bad as right Distro. George was right. I was wrong. George is right on that. It's Distro's the risk point. Distro's the problem. Yeah. Like stores just, stores like, would be a risk point, but Distro's a bigger one. Like well, they, communities like, police so- stores too. Like that that happened. Yeah. That, yeah. In another especially in, tighten it once that happened in another community with Lorcana. It was a different community. A different area where one store was ca- charging MSRP and the other store was charging way over MSRP, and one store has players and the other one doesn't. Um, how, and, how, how long would it take me to drive from one store to that store? Like five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and like the, the communities police the the stores yeah. that abuse that stuff, but sure. Um, I don't know. It is. I get it. It is a. Uh, it, it, we are in that lull, right? Where there's nothing else to talk about, so we just complain. Only um, seven more months to go, well, then we're back, though, baby. Hold on. We're not just... I don't think that's fair. Yeah. We're just throwing unbridled complaints out. We're, it, it is important to... This is an not experiment. The sorcery a lot this segment, as always. It's important to actually discuss creator. how this is panning out, right? Yeah, like, it's exactly how we all thought it was panning out, except for Lily. Well... No, I, this is listen. There's I can be optimistic about things and be wrong and and not get thrown under the. So bus. hold on, that's exactly what he just said. Though. That's exactly what I just. You are really good at that tonight of being like, yo, you, that's not fair. Let me restate that. exactly you what you, you just said. Mind you, this is we're about to have Rudy in get another six thousand boxes and whatever. I will well. say and, that and one more feel nude, super good. nude, and more nude, nude. Yeah, a more I will nude, say nude. that doesn't feel super good. Yeah, no. Well, like. At some point, all these games, and maybe Sorcerer's not at this point yet. I don't know that they are. At some point, all these games have to decide if they're going to be like a TCG or like a content creator like pump released dump. game. <laughs> I guess Pump and Dump is another way to say that. But like, at some point, these games have to decide if they are serious about being like in the ecosystem or, or yeah, but, not. And that requires a lot of balance, man. No, and, 100%. Like this is this is the safer route. I agree. I agree. It, it's I, there's much I, less of a chance of collapse here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think it's the right way to do it until they have the like systems in place. Like I mean, frankly, one one system would be to have their own distribution hub or something like that here, right? Like where they just have a team or a group of people that ships out the product and they allocate based on things and whatever. But sure, but we're now we're incurring more and more costs and we're releasing one product a year, right? It's it's right. getting more and more expensive. Yeah, but that's you can like that's what um uh that's what they do for um like board games and stuff. Yeah. Like there's yeah, ways board, to board games and trading card games are yeah, but that's because of multiple sets a year. So it, it actually might be a model that could work. Um, yeah, maybe. And now you have stores who are on board and want boxes, right? So you, it's not like you have to have distribution to sell the boxes to stores at this point. But I don't know. I, I, you know, the, the thing that doesn't keep me up at night, if I, if I were rest my head on my sorcery pillow comfortably, it's that 
whether I agree with something or disagree with something, like if it's not good for sorcery, I got faith in that team so far to fix it. They've they've shown me that they're willing to yeah. make they're willing to stick by their beliefs and they're also willing to make the hard decision and change things when they need to be changed. So hey, listen, I I can sit in this chair and just be wrong. If it's bad for sorcery, I can imagine they make a change. Yeah, I agree. Okay, moving on. Oh, uh, yeah, Baltimore's coming up too. So, good luck. <laughs> Struggle to get there. <laughs> All right, Lorcana Championship. Um, so they had this Lorcana. Uh, Lorcana is doing their own Grand Prix type thing. Essentially, I can't wait to. P- I, I want to know what no- jo- number George is going to pick. I don't care about your intro. I want to know what number George is going to pick to say the microphone. Million people tried to sign up. That's forty thousand. No, nope. Forty thousand people visited the website. Yeah. So the, no, where'd you get the forty true. million from, George? I think what, they said forty thousand. What butthole did you pull that I was out of? Joking about forty million. God, after source, you get so cranky. It's not my fault your game can't produce sets. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. <sighs> <sighs> don't cry, Louie. It's going to look weird no, upside no, down. No, you're wrong, Josh. According to, according to the comp- website that did it, 40,000 tried to sign up for t- signing up for tickets. It was in the queue. Um, hey, you said 40 million. I was joking. Good he was, Lord. That was a joke. Are you okay, Louie? The upside down. The blood's going to your head. Like, let, you know, find your Zen master. Um, yeah, 40,000 people tried to sign up. Um, all right. So there's there's two parts of this story. Uh, one is they only had 512 tickets. There's actually three parts to the story. One is they only had 512 tickets. The other is that 40,000 people tried to sign up. And I would argue probably 10,000 of that was nonsense. I'd say about 30,000 people really tried to sign up. And the other, the last one, is that Mr. Beast got shut out. I know Louie has no respect for Mr. Beast's girlfriend, <laughs> Tia, as we went over a couple of months ago. <laughs> but Tia, who I deeply respect, and one of my favorite Goat Con content creators, and one of the greatest... Goat Con a tournament hosts, uh, but she said her boyfriend, Mr. Beast, could not get in. So, Bob, let's get Mr. Beast into that tournament. Rejecting Mr. Beast is, I, I, is I, a power I, move. That is a, would, that's a power. I'll, I'll bet. I'll bet he gets a ticket. I'll bet he gets a ticket. I, w- I imagine they're making some phone calls to some uh, registered uh, participants. Uh, I, that, I bet it goes up to five thirteen. That is such a power move. So they they came out and said early on though that they thought it was going to sell out really fast and that they were going to add tickets right no so yes and no they said they so they expect to sell fast they're gonna they're trying to find alternative fixes i mean like let i think there's two things i think 512 is comically small yeah like it's, it, it's, it's certainly yeah. It's, it's certainly too small but like listen thirty thousand is a yeah like what number a, do you go yes, with right the like staggering yeah. number the Let's biggest say, magic grand prix was a decade ago and had 7,500 people play. Yeah. So like, let's say you if go you with 4,000. Like four times yeah. the biggest Magic Grand Prix are going to want to play in this, I'd be like, okay, yup, lols, no. Like, there's no way they could have expected that. Okay, question though. What percentage of people actually care about playing versus the free play Bingo. mat and no. promotional Bingo. material? want to play. Bingo. Go it is a is casual goat. environment. No, there is no. a percentage of those people that were rushing for tickets that are hardcore yeah. players trying to compete. The ma- overwhelming majority of the Lorcana community is casual now, fans, which is the, where the game shines. It's the, great. It's don't, don't take that as me poo-pooing on it. Because no. I, I, no, I actually think this was impressive. And this was impressive um, except for Ravensburger dropping the ball again on a, on a number Ravensburger, that they can't figure not out. Ravensburger, importantly. Who? I don't care. Pro Whoever games. they contracted to do this, whoever's in charge of this, Listen. 512 is laughably low. They could I, easily. I mean, like, they could easily. I don't think that's true. Like, I, I don't like. I, like, I would have said a thousand. Can I, I would questions? never have. I would have never in a 50%. million years guessed thirty thousand. Fifty. Never in a million years would I have can, guessed thirty thousand people. Can I make two suggestions that they could no. have solved this very easily it, had they consulted? Oh, Lord. What I would say, a professional expert on the subject matter. You they, hosted that sorcery event. And here you go. You ready to go? <laughs> they could have done qualifiers for this, where 
like the, the, they have the Inklands Championships going on right now. They already like shout out to my Inklands champion, uh, April twenty seventh. You can uh, come to Taze Valley, West Virginia, and be uh, part of the oh, hurricane. It's the same thing. Um, Scott Depot, Hurricane Taze Valley. It's all one jumbled mess. Anyway, um, welcome to West they, Virginia. They could have done this as like, a, hey, if you win your stores Lorcana Championship, you get a ticket to this, or you get the opportunity to buy a thing. Uh, and they could have also, if they didn't want to do it as a, as a win, they could have had stores nominate people to play in. Oh like, God. Why? That's no, a I don't, idea. I don't like that. That's a terrible why? idea. Like, oh Donald, my God. Donald, Donald's a perfect example. Donald didn't get a ticket. He was on the website at noon. He didn't get a ticket. He's just out of luck. He, I, I, I can't like think of right, So you have one invite and two people who love Lorcana. Who are you going to piss off? They fight it out. You put them in a room and they fight it out the old God. fashioned way. Like, <laughs> Whoever comes out of the storage closet yeah. wins. Come on, dude. Stop being such a wussy. Or they play a game of Lorcana for it. Either one. It's fine. <laughs> just with me. just the first thing you suggested, by the way, which was a it's great fine. piece of advice. Like. <laughs> Like that, that decision um, was great and, and locking in a certain number of tickets, right? Yeah. For that. And then actually expanding. You, you've had, we've had enough Lorcana. We know there's interest. You can't 30, run 5,000 people. I mean, like, I don't know where you no, host no, a no, 30, no, 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 no one's tournament. saying they should have 30,000 seats. What I'm saying is 512 is ridiculously low. How many could it they have had? Disgustingly How low. How many could they have had? Two thousand like, and forty-eight. You, you can't tell me that shouldn't so have been that, more, like like okay. So now than, you have only pissed off thirty-eight thousand people instead of thirty-nine thousand people. There's no, a different side. If you have a two thousand person event and you have thirty thousand people try to sign up and only two thousand people get tickets, I go, that's insane. What more can you expect from the tournament organizer? When you have five hundred person event, I go, what are you doing? Like, why why the, is it 500 people so the big like the big thing they're gonna be like they're gonna figure this out before chicago because chicago's gonna have more demand is my guess y- yeah well now you're in a very major city like uh shout to hotlanta dirty dirty it's it exists all right chicago relax oh block all right they're not at the least they're not baltimore <sighs> tcg events in baltimore lead to theft at best, um, stop so, stop God, using Baltimore. You can't make one of Baltimore right now. They don't have a bridge. I They're love stuck. how you're like, Louis. Stop punching down. You're like, ha ha. I got Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. A guy in his basement nobody, saying TCG events that go poorly in Baltimore is not punching down. Nobody has ever punched down towards you, Josh. You're a giant. That's true. Yeah. Shaq, um, Shaq would punch down. It would hurt a lot. All right. More importantly than Lorcana's failure saw. of setting up this event, not a failure. They made up success. for it. No, they made up a, for it. Yeah, they made up for it. That was a failure. No, nope. but they yes, have well. co-op, and it only took them a year to develop it. I so, no, that's not true. They said it for a long time. No, I'm a little worried about this. My understanding of co-op is you have to tease it for at least half a decade. <laughs> That has always been what I expect from co-op games is that like you announce it, you tease it, you promise it, you perfect it, you say it's coming soon, then in a half decade you give up on it. Yeah. I'm a little fair. worried. Both. I'm a little worried with it coming out. Like what will it, you know what, what is it even possible? Like what will what will happen? <laughs> I, I, I I I I'm a little worried. I don't think you're being I, fair. I want to put this out there. I don't think this is gonna be good. But I did. I don't think it'll it matter. There's I a shocker. Buy, Louis, I think did, of Lorcana. I, There's a shocker. I, I already, I already acknowledge that I'm going to be wrong. So I, I shorted my own <laughs> bet. <laughs> so my initial reaction was, "There's no shot. This is good." So then I took it and I went to distro and I ordered way too much of it. Here's my counter to you saying it's not going to be good. You ready for this? I'm learning. Doesn't have to be. It does have to be. It's going to be amazing. They make the board game. They make all the board games for Disney. Yep. A lot of them are co-op games. So like they That's have fair. a lot of development talent already in co-op games. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What's the Marvel co-op game? Well, Villainous is the Disney, Disney one. one. Marvel one is called... Um... Marvelous. Marvelous. No. Oh, wait. I just had... You, it on, on you know head. what I'm talking about, right? That game yeah. was a ton of fun. I like that yeah. game. Of course. Robin's Burger's Go. It starts with an A, doesn't it? Avengers. Nailed it, George. 
legendary. That's boom. <laughs> Bingo. That's an A word. I'm into it. <laughs> Um, like I, I, I started with an A when you said it too. It sounded right. I, had to, I want to say this. I this is the this has potential to be the perfect com, competing product to Commander. Um, and it, that is so important. As, as, in the, as in the gameplay for this won't be any good either. Or oh my god! <laughs> I don't know, how Josh. To you this. understand that everybody loves Commander, right? Like ninety percent of the Magic community is in on it. Not true. Everybody doesn't love Commander. George, not a big Commander fan. George was there when they birthed it. He was George basically helped invent Commander. George was basically the bed of which Commander was, was made. Created. It was called. It was called GDH back then. <laughs> um. So here is why I'm pretty excited for co-op and i i don't actually believe in co-op games for tcgs that position has not changed um i think it shows that ravensburger is willing to tap into their talent for lorcana like they have a dedicated team of designers ready to handle co-op games and they're yes. tagging them in to go build this thing and so like when you have really great designers on staff that know what they're doing, it makes it so you can pump out different formats very good, very quickly and and successfully. And I think that's what we're seeing with Goat Kana. Is there there it's a group effort, a team of great designers. You're not relying on just the genius of one person and hoping that he figures it out in the end. Like you're actually relying on a team of brilliant people to figure this out. And I think that tends to end up better over time. Well, do so we know it's coming right i want to redact my statement about it being a commander uh competitor i think it's solo only right it's one to two players this is going to yeah. be this is going to be butt cheeks it's not no this is going to be butt cheeks it's not. i regret ordering a lot of it it's not i'll take you i'll take your i'll take your stuff yeah. listen 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 this is it's just going to be the i don't know we'll see and you you don't think the community is going to break it to be more than two players. You just got done telling me about four player sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> a mat that does not exist for a format that does not exist. It does in exist. a game that has You'll made to... boxes one time in their life. Relax, homeboy. Relax. I like that we we dunk on games that have made one box and Lorcana's made three. Almost four. Almost four. I guess I ordered my fourth. Oh, hold uh, on. I, well, most important question of this podcast. How much set four did both of you please, order? Please, Bob, don't burn me. I, how much I, I, I ordered three times as much set four as I ordered set three. Everybody get out. Bob, Bob, I <laughs> love you. We have seen please, this please movie before. Everybody get out. Bob, uh, please don't I, burn me. So this feels like they just are trying to sell that gift bundle in a different way to me. Yeah, they're having a real problem selling gift bundles. I think that's a good take on your part. Well, they only made like 16 of them. So like it's not their most popular product. They made like none of them. Yeah, um, they did. Um, like it'll be fine. It's co-op. People like if you like co-op, this will be fine. A one or two people. Why is this not like a four player? Thing? The gift set is the fifth most popular product for Inklands on TCG player. So it's not that totally makes sense to me. So the like, least popular product. It's decks. it's it's right above the decks. Yeah, that's down the decks. God, which again after set one, that's by sales data, right? Or yep. numbers? Yep. Not individual products sold. No, it's by that, number of products sold. Number oh, of number. Wow, boxes. decks are that low. Yeah, for Inklands, yeah. Oh wow. Two decks don't work. That's fair. Three decks were cool. The first set. Yeah. And that's and also there's something to it being the first set and the fact that for the longest time Ravensburger screwed it up so bad you couldn't get a box. But well, the starter deck, get packs. But the starter deck for the starter deck for set one's hold position two, first three, and four is basically back to where it was during the boom boom. Yeah. Isn't like first print first edition going crazy? A thousand dollars. One sold for nine ninety nine. I want to give an anti shout out to that buyer. You were so damn close to first chapter to one K, you could taste it, but you had to save your dollar. I would have given you the four quarters. Importantly, really watch this podcast. TCG player is not separating. 
So uh, Louis just started buying every first chapter, hoping his first print. <laughs> I think the first print. I guess they do. I guess there are some errated cards, but like, <coughs> I don't know, man. I I don't think that's a big deal. I think it would so, be too. All right, easy so to here's take. the question for you guys. There's somebody. There's a couple people predicting that they won't reprint first chapter. <coughs> that they're done. They won't reprint first chapter. What? Sorry, I had to cough. There, there's a couple people predicting they're done with printing first chapter. Do you think they're done printing first chapter? Well, they're they're gonna have the same problem that sorcery has. If if they reprint first chapter, distro is just gonna be like, in order to get a box of first chapter, you have to take five cases of inklands, or you I have don't to think take that's a problem. Distro has to, with sorcery. You have to take. 45 <laughs> saying that they have the same problem fates etbs if oh, you, you know want one box so here's the good part about goat kana is that they usually print enough that that doesn't happen uh now so, that's not yeah true. you had to take pokemon to get lorcana last week you bozo well, i don't a, think that's a lorcana problem that's not a lorcana I, problem big dog it's a distribution problem sure i mean like that's what i'm saying I got a lot of inklands before that too, though. You got an unhealthy amount of inklands before. I don't that. want to talk about it. Um, I still have inklands box openings on the channel, by the way. Somehow, really? How could that have that. happened? Um. So, uh, for, let me be very clear here. There, I would be stunned if they're done printing first chapter. Stunned. Yeah, I don't think they're. Done. And, like, and like, let me. Like, so. They should not be done printing first no, chapter. I agree. No. Like they should at least print this for another two years. Hmm. Two that years, seems, really? That seems excessive. That's a three-year cycle. That's not I wanna, crazy to me. I want to say that I don't agree, but I'm also biased because I want the Elsa price to go down because I I'd like to pick up an Elsa. So I want that to be fully clear to everyone. I do think I, you know, I think they're gonna have. I think they're gonna slow down the reprints of set two and three, though. I don't think we're gonna get another. That should happen in that for yeah. a while. I agree with that. I mean, I mean, basically, Flood, I think Floodborne's a hundred and thirty bucks. Uh, 130, 135 bucks. Yeah, and then Inklands is what 120, 115, 120. Yeah. That shocks me. I'll be honest. That that's the most shocking price to me. Yeah, that should be lower. Based on that, like I have, a, like there's a lot of Inklands. Like the boxes, like people are still buying the boxes. It, right. It, it, that's yeah. the thing is the sell the sell through rate on Inklands isn't it's unbelievable. Bad. No, it's completely, still, yeah, completely. It, it, it has significantly slowed since, which we expect. Right, first chapter, the first set's going to be crazy hype. Ravensburger can't print a box, so the money machine goes burr, and then they reprint a trillion of them. Of course, that's going to work that way. But Inklands really is slowing down. We haven't seen a Lorcana set month after month drop off more than fifty percent each month, and we're see and we're seeing that for the first time with Inklands. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Inklands. That's a normal TCG <laughs> cycle, by the way. Yeah. Your big yeah. TCG whatever, that's what happens. Whatever they did with Inklands, they should do with every set. That yeah, they they, they, they hone that in perfectly, and yeah. also like I do think they, I think they, get, you know, both, you know, the distros kind of gave me the hint that like they're not going to be a major reprint of Inklands for a minute. Yeah, um, and there shouldn't be like they printed a good amount. Yeah, um, but like no need like, to reprint when everything everything's healthy. What they need to do. Um, yep, you know, there. I agree. You know, there's a reason people call it Kokana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it because they can't figure out the sizing of their population in any avenue? Listen, they're learning, man. Give them a break. God, I I am so confused with <laughs> this podcast. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, remember to support our sponsor of the, the channel with uh, getting the shirts. Ten over. shirts. Ten shirts. Let's go, boys. Ten and shirts. Girls. And I'll get uh, George. I almost called you. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I almost called you. Uh <laughs> I'll I'll get George a um what's it called Hawaiian t-shirt. Go to gamegrove.gg. I'll leave Hawaiian a link in the comment section. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm beat. go clean up your daughter's pee. It'll be all right. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, be kind to the people around you, and may the zoo be with you. And also with you. And also with you. Is that a wait? Is that the foil? Yeah. No. So bad. Next. <laughs> Keep opening packs. <laughs> wait. Fold it. Fold test. Fold test.